What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we just did a video in our Model S refresh in regards to Tesla's first update for 2023 in the form of 2023.2.0.5. And we have actually some interesting findings. Unsurprisingly, each vehicle handles updates a little differently. Some new features come to different vehicles. And this is one of those scenarios where the Model 3 and Model Y got a couple of other features than what we got on our Model S and X. So having said that, a couple of those new features are automatic heating steering wheel, where it'll auto adjust for you, as well as a change to what the headlights do when sentry mode is activated. Let's go through the list. I'll throw it up on the screen here and we can take a look. So as we mentioned, you can see here, the first is auto steering wheel heat. Set your steering wheel heater to regulate its temperature automatically based on the climate control set temperature to access the steering wheel heating controls tap on temperature settings and bring it to the climate control panel then sentry mode lighting when a threat is detected sentry mode will softly now pulse headlights to indicate that your vehicle is recording video the pulsing stops after 60 seconds when the vehicle is unlocked and again this is unique to just the model 3 and model y currently beyond that these are not really relevant to the us as you can see but there is a speed assist it'll now leverage your car's cameras like we're familiar with here to detect speed limit signs um, it improves the accuracy of speed limit data thai voice navigation has been added as well now as a new language we have handwriting keyboard where you enter text written characters with your finger it's exactly like it describes again not relevant in the us as well as wechat mini programs they are now active in your model 3 and y outside of the us and mango tv mango tv is now available for you to watch videos and live streams from your center display when parked in all four models again not in the us and then something we've had for a while the cabin camera view and seat heater icons in the vehicle as well on the dashboard so you can see that's all that's in this release that we missed in our model s and x let me know what you guys think we'll catch you in the next one